Sealing your craft projects is one of the top three questions that we constantly get asked about here at Makers Gonna Learn when you're working with your Cricut machine. And guess what? In today's video, we're gonna expose all that we know about sealing your projects and let me tell you, these are going to shock you. This is a lot of different things that you may have never heard before. So if you've been curious on knowing when and how to seal your craft projects, stick with me. Number one, when we talk about sealing our craft projects, is your vinyl does not always have to be sealed. The thing you need to know about vinyl is that that is like a sticker. So when you are sealing it down, you are putting a sealer over top the vinyl. And in theory, yes, that is going to help keep it down longer, but in a lot of times you do not need to use a sealer on top of your vinyl. Number one, it's going to look a little less quality because there could be brush strokes and things like that. We do have ones that we're gonna talk about today that are going to expose what to do and when to do it. But what I want you to think about is when you are sealing your craft projects, you want to know that the vinyl doesn't necessarily need um, a sealer because it is already being able to kind of go into the material. For example, when you're putting vinyl on a piece of wood, you are burnishing it down and it is adhering due to the pressure um, onto the wood. And a lot of those are water resistant vinyls. So what I would actually recommend rather than sealing a vinyl project on wood, I would use a higher grade vinyl. Did you guys know that different types of vinyl like Oracal come in different levels? For example, there's an Oracal uh, 631. Um, there's Oracal 651 that we use. It's kind of like an everyday. And they even have more advanced levels of vinyl for when you're doing things like outdoor projects and whatnot. So instead of ruining a project by putting a sealer over it like Mod Podge and brushing it on and getting a less professional look, I would ra recommend for you to look at some of these higher levels of vinyl. These right there will save you time and time again instead of constantly worrying about what sealer to use. Cricut mugs are another big topic that people are constantly asking me about. And the question is, should I seal my Cricut vinyl mug? And my answer typically is, if it is handmade, guess what? It should be hand washed. But at times, a lot of you want to know how to truly seal a mug. And that would revert to our Mod Podge dishwasher safe. Now, one thing that I want you to know when it comes to Mod Podge dishwasher safe is it takes like 28 to 30 days to officially cure after multiple coats. So in my opinion, again, you're doing multiple coats of this onto your mug and it's getting really thick and Mod Podge at times can be kind of sticky. So I really don't recommend the Mod Podge dishwasher safe as an everyday solution. Um, in certain instances, yes, that would be fine, but I would rather just say, hey, I made a handmade Cricut mug. I'm just going to always hand wash that for the durability um, and the lifespan to last even longer. And that's what we recommend when it comes to mugs. Now we will discuss tumblers next so that you understand what to do when you're sealing a Cricut tumbler. When you're wanting to seal a tumbler, here's what we recommend. I actually love, love, love UV resin. There's two different level, um, different parts that I do recommend here. So we love UV resin. You do have to have um, natural sunlight or um, some type of UV light with a turner. This is very important to have a turner. Actually, both of these methods, you do want to have a cup turner. Um, they're very inexpensive. I highly recommend one. The other option, if you're not interested in using UV resin, is the Crystal Lac Grand Finale. Now, we really, really love this. It's water-based, it's self-leveling, and it, it comes in many different finishes. But what's really neat about both of these is again, you need a cup turner. Number one, because this is self-leveling, you just put it on with your finger, you kind of do that with both of these. And then as it spins around, they self-level. Now, what I want you to know is the Crystal Lac takes multiple coats um, and it's a lot thinner 
but with UV resin, you're going to find that this can work really quick. I mean, we have been able to make tumblers within 15 minutes, and that's the power of the UV resin. So when we're wanting to make a tumbler that is going to last a long, long time, way longer than a traditional vinyl project, we like to seal these in. And in my opinion, sealing in a tumbler, it makes a lot more sense than sealing a traditional vinyl project. Now, if you want to put resin over top a wooden project, I think that will make it just look that much more elegant. It's gonna look way more store-bought, and there's some really great pros when it comes to that. But for me, when I'm sealing a tumbler, I always look to one of these products so that it can be a lot more durable on the go, it can wash way better, and these are the two products that we have found to work time and time again. I will link these down below, whether you want to check out the Crystal Lac Grand Finale. This is a newer one for us, and we've really enjoyed it. Um, there's quite a few finishes, like this one's a flat matte, and it looks phenomenal. Um, and I'm sure you all have seen UV resin. It kind of hit the market at the end of last year, and wow, I mean, no reason to have a two-part resin in my opinion anymore because this is going to help you have so much more crafting success so much faster. So let's talk about those projects that you know are going to be out in the weather, in the environment, and you're like, Tanner, I hear you. I still think my vinyl is going to peel up. I don't have time to run out and get a higher grade vinyl or anything like that. What should I do? I have two options for you and either of these are going to work really, really well. So number one, when we talk about sealing vinyl projects specifically, I really enjoy using any type of spray sealer. You can get these from Minwax, you can get these from Rust-Oleum, Krylon, any type of clear sealer spray um, is what you wanna look out for. This one is a fast drying polyurethane in clear gloss. These at some times, especially when they're out in the sun, can turn yellow. So we do not want that often, which is why a lot of times, y'all, I don't recommend to seal a vinyl project. And again, when you are sealing this down, you're just spraying it. The vinyl is still just being held on by the adhesive on your vinyl and the wood. That's all it is. That's why we always, always, always recommend for you to burnish and make sure that a vinyl is getting adhered to your wooden blank or whatever you may be adhering it to. So at times you may wanna use a spray sealer, but another one that I really enjoy using and have a lot of success with is a polycrylic. And this right here is again, another water-based. Um, they come in multiple different finishes as well. This is a clear semi-gloss and I love this. It's really quality. This is actually what I use to also make glitter ornaments in the holiday season. So you may actually already have some of this on hand. Um, but let me tell you what I don't like about it. What I don't like about this are the brush strokes, y'all. This is not self-leveling. So if you're wanting something that self-levels, definitely check out the Crystal Lac Grand Finale. This right here is not marketed as a finish for anything other than tumblers, but it's self-leveling, which is huge, and it probably will work a lot better than the polycrylic, because guess what? This does not have great results when it self-levels. I've tried to have better success with this time and time again, and guess what? I constantly see brush strokes, and that is something that I, in my opinion, makes a project look more handmade and less store-bought. And we wanna teach you guys every single day how to make the top quality, best projects with your Cricut machine. And that's why we have a variety of different sealers in our craft stash so that we can pull out for the different projects. But as a recap today, I wanna go over each of these and explain real quick as we end out what you need it for. Number one is our polyurethane spray. 
This is a great sealer that will not have brush strokes. It's thinner and it's less noticeable. I love to use these on any wooden signs um, when I feel like it needs some extra sealing and I don't have access to that higher level vinyl that is made for the elements. Number two is anytime I'm using the polycrylic, I want a really good seal, but I'm okay with brush strokes. Some projects you won't notice it as much as other. For example, this is really noticeable on metals. So just be careful when using that. We keep Mod Podge dishwasher safe on hand and on deck for any type of mugs or any type of project that for some reason we cannot use one of these sealers for. Um, for many of our tumblers, we just go straight in for the UV resin. This is your fastest top result you're going to be able to get due to that amazing UV light, being able to set your resin really, really quickly. The downfall on this is you must have a cup turner to make sure it's evenly getting distributed. And that's the same for our Crystal Lac Grand Finale. The Grand Finale is going to take a lot longer because you can't put a second or third coat on without giving about an hour in between each coat. And this does require multiple coats. If a resin scares you, the Crystal Lac is going to be your best friend. This is non-yellowing and it is non-toxic. So definitely check out the Crystal Lac Grand Finale because I think you'll really enjoy it and it's kind of new to us and I think you'll fall in love with it too. So now, y'all, there's so many different ways to seal your projects. Hit me up in the comments down below. Let me know what you use to seal your projects. Let me know how you seal your projects and we're super excited. If you loved learning of all the things you need to know about sealing your projects, you're absolutely going to love checking out this hack video. The hacks over here are going to help you time and time again every single Cricut craft project. You will not believe some of the ways that we have taught you how to think differently when you're going from a beginner to a pro with these craft hacks. They are absolutely amazing and I can't wait to see you over on that video. All you need to do is click the button and as always, if you're brand new here, definitely check out our membership site, Maker's Gonna Learn, to teach you how to master your Cricut machine. The way that we have all of the cut files, the fonts, the community, the training programs all included with your membership is game changer so definitely check that out first link down below check out the craft hack video and we'll see you back here real soon bye guys